All right, all right, all right. Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about why Bungie is trending on Twitter today. Now, if you've ever gone on the Bird app, you know that it's nothing but uh, drama and gossip and a complete dumpster fire, and today was no exception to that, of course. There's always craziness going on on the Twitter app. And in today's episode of Twitter drama, it actually involved Bungie um, and a Bungie dev being let go from their job and protesting it. Usually we see Bungie devs let go from their job and they say something, you know, nice and compassionate about Bungie, but uh, this dev was actually really unhappy about being let go. And so we're going to go ahead and discuss it. And I'm going to try and be as neutral as possible about this because I don't really want to give my opinion about it. I just want to recover the news because as you can see here, this has 3,700 likes. So this was literally trending in the Bungie and Destiny 2 category today. So let's go ahead and jump into this. We have this uh, de former dev now saying, today is my last day at Bungie. I have been let go. Apparently sticking up for myself in refusing to change a title that didn't represent the work I did and calling coworkers out for reporting me using anonymous in-house tools created a hostile work environment. Here's the tweet. And so they're let go and they said it's because their title was engineer and it was meant to be like test design or something. The original tweet says, PSA to people at Bungie who want to report my social media to HR. I'm going to address you publicly since you are cowards to address me in person. I was hired as a test associate, yet I have actually been doing the work of a test engineer this entire time. And so this is a tweet from August 26th where they, you know, they're getting, they're calling them out. And we'll go ahead and follow that thread through and this is the response to that they had on August 26th. Many other coworkers from all kinds of teams at Bungie have seen and agreed that the work I'm doing is far outside a test associate role. When reviewing my interview feedback, the decision for test engineer far outweighed test associate, yet here we are. If you're going to report me for my title and get salty that I call myself a test engineer, then you need to reevaluate yourself. My title is a direct reflection of the work I do. Saying I'm a test associate at this point is doing a disservice to myself. So literally they were hired to be a test associate and they changed their title on Twitter to test engineer and that became an issue and became a topic of drama within the Bungie studios and they reported her to HR and now she's going under some you know having a reevaluation I guess it goes on though and it gets a little bit crazier the next response says I don't want to hear another talk about company culture if people here are spending their time reporting my Twitter and my LinkedIn play some fucking destiny <laughs> And let me continue to make this game better as a test engineer like I have been doing. I feel like I need that to be my Twitter banner. Play some fucking Destiny. I think the result for that is pretty wild. I mean, they're getting uh, a little bit hostile, I'll say, you know. I think it's fair to call it that. And uh, then they go on to say the next part and the last bit of this thread from August 26th. And for those who reported me for discussing my frustration with Seattle parking, if you have such a problem with it, then give me money for parking. But also, <laughs> I've already sent my doctor the Bungie ADA accommodation form. So why don't you mind your fucking business? <laughs> and so this this dev is my favorite Bungie dev of all time. I mean, they just say it like it is. They're just like, you know what? You bunch of crabby you bunch, play some fucking Destiny, you know? And if you don't like me complaining about parking, the parking situation in Seattle, you know what? You pay for my fucking parking. <laughs> This is a legendary response. You don't see Bungie devs acting quite like this too often on Twitter. So it's a bit of a treat. But unfortunately, you know, it's a bit out of line and creates a little bit of hostility for those that obviously have to work with her or whatever it may be, right? I think they're a legend for doing this and for being so outspoken. But let me know your thoughts down below. They then went on to respi respond to the last tweet that we talked about, which, re which said, um, I'm crushed. I'm a mess. I am confused and angry. The last thing I ever wanted was to create a hostile work environment. I care deeply about my work and this game and the people who make it. I'm sure whoever reported me got exactly what they wanted, so congratulations. I've always been outspoken and have consistently shared my love for Destiny and our community and my clan, but it wasn't enough. You can say good things all day, but the moment there is criticism, you are dismissed and it breaks my heart. I did my best, I promise. So they're obviously very upset about losing their job. They clearly cared, they you know, clearly cared and were very passionate about it. And then next up, they said, I stood up for myself. I asked the hard questions. I brought solutions to problems. I've had so many meetings with people on what we could do to improve, and it wasn't enough because they wanted me gated behind a title and to keep me silent. Ever since I've come to games, I've worked so hard to just exist, to be myself authentically, and it's just not enough. I'm sorry to the community if I let you down. I did the best work I could, and I gave feedback where I thought it was needed. I'm so sorry. 
The next post reads, I'm already locked out of my account, so now to my previous coworkers, I was in the middle of planning an engineering panel for women at Bungie, so please make sure that still happens. Representation is very important, and we should still always try to advocate for diversity. And then she uh, responds to the CEO, which is Pete Parsons, says, Pete, maybe not everyone, you know how much I cared. I spoke publicly because things weren't happening internally, but I went through the proper channels. Um, I rejected what I thought was wrong, and that's why I'm here now. You know I love this game, but now I'm just sad. And then they go on to share a screenshot between them and Pete Parsons, which says, some game companies care a lot about their people. And then they say, I've heard nothing but great things about Bungie. And then Pete Parsons says, I take it seriously. I'm sure we don't always get it right. But damn, we care about everyone. So there you have it. Wow, what a crazy thread. I did not expect to see all of that from a Bungie dev. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Again, I'm not giving you my opinion about this. I'm not trying to get thrown under the bus one way or the other. All right, this is up to you to decide what you think uh, of the situation. And that's a wrap on this news story. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll keep you up to date on all the news in Destiny 2. Smash the like button. See you in the next one. Later.